Hello, everybody. Well, 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 today we're going to do a little troubleshooting. We're going to jump right into this, see what we can get, see what we can get done. I've got loads of stuff to do and trying to get all of it done. So, because I, I got more stuff needs to be done, so I'm trying to get it all done. So, we're going to jump right into this. This is the little 353 that we ported a while back for Stacy. When he calls the stud, it's a bad little dude. He brought it and he said it's leaking. Uh, I hadn't really looked at it yet, but he said it's leaking somewhere up here. And oh, the side cover's not on it right. Oh. Side cover ain't on it. It's jacked out back here at the back. Oh, I hope ain't nothing broke. That wouldn't be good. Please don't be over tight. Okay, it's just stuck on there. Because sometimes if you ain't careful, you can get these things jacked up on there and actually break something. Okay, the chain brake is set. The chain brake is set. And you can't undo it because, well, there's stuff in the way. So let's, let's just have a little, we're gonna have a look, you see, before we go too far. But we want to make sure what's going on. These things can be aggravating, to say the least. Throw the chain in the bar over here. Let's see if I got my little ditty hickey here for. Yeah. This is my clutch removal tool for some of them. And, uh,. Sometimes, if I can get it just right, oh, didn't we quite get it? Almost got it. Now, three finger clutch removal too. Using it to set the chain brake back. I wonder if it's leaking because it wasn't all the way on there or what. I don't know. That chain brake handle is kind of loose. I don't like it. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get on there sometimes. There's some wear in that thing, and there ain't much I can do with it because I don't think I got another one. Let's uh, let's take it outside and fire it up. See if oil's coming out the oil hole or leaking.
hardly see any leaks, but it's it's dirty up in there. There's a lot of oil in there, but Have a look and see. All right, got my little signal flyer here. Push it up in here if I get it to do. Sometimes this one's a real. I really miss my old socket that I had. It broke. This one doesn't work quite as well but it does work Let's see what we can see in here I think it's just full of oil is all it is I believe But we're going to check it out just to make sure. That way we're going to tell him what's going on. I, I know what's going on. If I can see anything. They use this little saw a lot. Just want to make sure. It's not real wet in here, except right around there, and that probably means that it's leaking a little bit right there, which I ain't a... If I didn't have that thing on there all the way, that'd probably be the reason why. Because this thing, you bend this metal a little bit, or tweak it off, and it won't seal against that rubber piece and that would make it just run bar oil out like crazy and I got a feeling that was the case because the oil is right in here and this is where the rubber goes to the oiler and I got a feeling that's the that's what it was right there because it's it's not wet back here a whole lot at the oiler itself just right here where the rubber goes to the oiler and that that rubber might even be distorted a little bit but the bar and chain wasn't on it good it was cocked sideways because the clutch was on and I think that's what it was I think that's all it was Tighten that bolt up right there. Yep, I think that was the I think that was the culprit. This metal piece here's got it's bent a little bit where the where the bar tightened up on it. Because if it's if it's the other way, whenever you uh, whenever you tighten the bar down, it won't push all the way up against it. 
I don't particularly like the way this is, but there ain't a whole lot you can do other than put a little bit of sealer on there and then put it on there loose and then snug it up. But if you're not careful, sometimes that will stop the line up. And I'd almost rather it leak a little bit than to stop the line up. So we're going to do that. The one thing we are going to try and do up quick, we're going to try and do something with this handle bolt right here. Because the, the, the handle's got some wear in it or something. And it's just loose, and I just don't like it. And I don't have another handle. And of course, we're gonna try and take it off here right quick and see what it looks like. We'll see if we can modify something to, to make it better. Cause that thing is just See, this hole right here is just wallered out. It's just wallered plumb out. Now maybe what I'll do, I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find a Find a drill bit to fit that and just drill it and go on through there. We could make a bushing and go on the boat, but it's just wore so much. I didn't notice that before. Of course, you could put a washer on it. Space it out just a hair. If I done that, they'd put the head of the boat back out where it needs to be. That would help with it. That would help with it. All right, let me see what I'm going to do, and then I'll bring you back and show you. All right, y'all. I got me a little stainless bushing made. It's not perfect. But it doesn't have to be perfect on that one side. It just has to fit on the boat, which it does. This side here is flat. The other side's a little off. And we're just going to drive it in here. Hopefully. And this will work. Maybe. Probably not. But hopefully it does. I need something to go down through there to drive it in. Let me use the bolt. And we'll use the extension and the socket. Because why? Because we can. I made it where it fit in here tight. Because I wanted it tight. Come on. Get in there. Come on, you little rascal. Probably should have drove it in from the other side and just tighten it up. But it's uh it's digging in there pretty good, and that's what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to be, I don't want it to be able to come out this way. That's why I done it like this. Hey, there we go. Now, now this will be up against the saw, so hopefully. When we put this in here, oh yeah, a lot less, lots less play, lots less play. I'm gonna tell him we might need to get a, might need to get a handle for it. All that oil is coming out. Looks like it's coming, it's coming down off there. We'll run it. Of course, it's going to leak a little bit until he puts the bar on it because uh, the bar is what seals up against that thing. We might have to get a new rubber to go in it, but we'll we'll find out. 
I know they run this thing in the skidder, and that's probably going to cause some issues with leaking in the floor. But you know how it goes when you're doing this stuff sometimes. Maybe this will work out a whole lot better. I done set the impact wrench in the floor. Sorry, y'all. Y'all might be able to see, you might not. Hey, look. That's a lot less floppy. Hopefully I hit it in the right place. If I didn't, well, then we're definitely going to have to have a handle if I didn't hit it in the right place. But you never know. You never know until you get got to risk it for the biscuit. Let's see if this fits on there. Sort of, maybe. Maybe sort of. Sort of, kind of. Looks like it fits right on there. Hey, I might have done something right for once. All right. Let's reassemble this thing. And I don't know about the leak. Like I say, it, it's loose up in here a little bit until you get the, the bar on it. So let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll take it out there and crank and swing the clutch off of it. No, we ain't. We're gonna put the we're gonna put the bar and chain back on it before we crank it. Cause y'all know what'll happen if I don't. We get to watch the the uh, clutch run off from us and cry while we're trying to figure out where to get another one. There we go. Y'all remember how that happened? They've watched me launch more than one clutch off the table. Send them air mail across the shop. <laughs> Let's put it on the right way. Because every time I put it on the wrong way, it makes it so hard to cut. Now, 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 now. Hey, look, that went right on there with no issues. Maybe we got it this time. Because that thing was, it was all cocked up on there. And when they ain't on there right, they do not work right. I promise. The chain brake was set, so it wouldn't go on all the way. This is one one thing that they did that I do not like is the way they done the chain brake on these. It's one of the worst as far as fitment goes, I think. I'm just watching right here to make sure it goes up in there. I'll snug it up. I don't want to snug it too tight. And we'll tighten the chain up. This saw sets weird. It pivots on something underneath it. I'm just glad nothing broke. If it's still leaking a little bit, it might be because of that rubber. And if it is, I'll just have to try to find one of them rubbers for the oiler. Hey, chain brake kind of works now. <laughs> All right. Chain brake kind of works now.
I'm going to leave it sit here on the table for a little bit. We'll find out if it leaks. Other than that, that's what we're going to do. All right. Y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Be kind. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. God bless. Y'all hop her out.